We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Recently, Jonathan Majors uh, says, you know, he, he had some legal trouble. And he beat the legal trouble. We talked about it a few, you know, a few episodes back. Don't quote me how many episodes. It's been a minute. We we pushing 140 plus, right? And he, he beat the allegations and he's moved on, got a new girlfriend. He's with Megan. We talked about him with that situation, whatever the case may be. But that is lingering with his career, right? Um, the reason I, I'm explaining this is because... I wanted to I wanted to get your your opinion on this, right? So this article is talking about Robert Downey Jr., right? Who's had an actual record in a past criminal history. But it never really hurt him, in a sense. You know what I'm <clears> saying? <throat> like as far as like well, there's quite a few actors that have history. And it it hasn't stopped them from pro- progressing. Yet you get a person that that's accused of something and beat it and it affects him as if like he's guilty in a sense. Um, so this is why I said, do you believe in like the, the black, I guess like a uh, movie industry and how we're treated differently, et cetera. So what's your thoughts on this? How y'all feel well, about I mean, that? I mean, but I think, I think it's just, I think it's prevalent cause it's just, it's present. Yeah. I mean, because it's, it's in the present is right now. I'm saying, I think this happens all the time. Not me. You see a lot of actors go through this type of shit. Know what I'm saying, but it's just because it's right now. You know, some time go by. More than likely, know what I'm saying, it, it's gonna be right back in the fold. I'm pretty sure whenever that happened, what what was Robert uh, Danny Jr.'s situation? I, I don't he got know convicted of drug possession. Okay. See now that's the difference too. <laughs> Nah, but check it though. That's the difference too. The the problem with this, the situation with this is domestic and drugs. It's a domestic, two different things. right? It's a domestic situation. Uh-huh. Everybody do drugs. Everybody don't beat you know beat on their. Not saying he beat on anybody, but the majority of you know corporations. Know what I mean, companies. Know what I'm saying they not gonna want to tie themselves to something that got something to do with domestic violence. Know what I mean, even if. Like you said, now nah, I mean he wasn't found guilty. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna take some time. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be right back. He gonna be right back good. You know what I mean? I don't But see, it. it's hard to it's hard to and I and I'm I'm making conversation, whatever the case may be, but we it's almost like you have to be straight and narrow as as an African American in the entertainment. Because there's a list of actors that are well named that have had domestic violence charges and it didn't even hurt a beat in their career, whether it be Nicolas Cage, Mel Gibson, whoever. Like, there's a list of people that have been, even, um, what's the dude that played Batman? Christian Slater. Was that, mm-hmm. that his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, even him, they had, But I'm just saying, like, they all had, like, some type of domestic violence record, and it didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel, me personally, feel like this is going to hurt Jonathan Mather's con- his relationship with Disney as a whole. Like, I don't think he's getting any more roles because, first of all, he was already typecast. So now everybody looks at him as Kane because he did that so well. So for him to play another role is kind of a dead issue, and they wrote him out. So, and that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing with Marvel. Marvel is like, it's tough to get in, and when you get in, you got to hold on to that junk because you, like, I don't, Robert Downey Jr. is a perfect example. He's, he was typecast with Iron Man for years. Um, I, I'm gonna be I, honest. I think yeah. so. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Huh? Nah, I mean, <clears throat> I feel like I to be honest. I'm on the other side of this. Besides, you know, of course, I believe that obviously Black Hollywood exists, and you know, we don't always get our fair trade. We know that, so we need to get that out the way. But in this case, I actually think, uh, and this sounds gonna sound crazy, not to a lot of people. But it actually worked out. Like, I'm not gonna cap. It it, it worked out. Because see, the problem with Kane and Conqueror, and not saying Jonathan Majors didn't deserve the role or whatever the case may be, but for Disney, he wasn't really popping. You know what I mean? 
we got a couple movies from him. It wasn't like we were super impressed with what he was doing. He didn't leave the 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 Thanos effect on us. You know what I mean? They've been pushing him for the last couple movies, whatever the case may be. It's unfortunate that happened, but for Disney, it's like, hey, we just got Robert Downey Jr. back. The Disney world is excited. They wasn't as excited as they was for Kane to Conquer. I wasn't excited. Sure, you wasn't excited. So, I mean, you know, sometimes things happen, you know. I'm sure, and to be honest, I I kind of think Disney is going to bring him in the fold. I just think, time. yes, I definitely think. I just think this is more of a press media thing, press run to get us excited because it just so happens that while Jonathan Majors is going through his problem, Disney going through their problem with doing too many shows, stuff not hitting. They were kind of just throwing shit against the wall and hoping to stick, yeah. which was killing the universe anyway. And he happened to be one of the pieces of sh- not to say he's a bad actor, but he happened to be part of the piece of shits that they were throwing at the wall. No, I think they so were developing he, him as a villain, though. Like, not he, saying that he was going to be a main character. He was the main character. That's what I'm saying. He was the main villain. He was the, you know, the yeah. movies, the Avengers were leading up to face him. How much yeah. hype is that? You know what I mean? After we seen him in certain movies, it wasn't that, you know, they had him on a Disney TV show that mm. didn't really pan out well. Now, Loki was fire. Loki was, it, it didn't excite the universe though. Like, okay. people weren't as excited as when they announced, I mean, the world heard it. When they announced, you know, Robert Downey Jr. coming back as a villain, everybody put their hands up, the Marvel Universe. So, that's important for, not to be long winded, but that's important when you're watching things and when, you know, they want to make money too. So, it's unfortunate that that happened. But I don't think it was his time for that to be that big of a thing anyway. So, you know, it just, it is what it is at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... It, I, go ahead, Cesar. No, I, I just want to say, Jonathan Majors is, is new to the game. You know what I'm saying? He's not, he ain't been in the game a long time. He still got to brand himself to make a name to where he get his fan core, like his core base fans that's going to love him. He ain't got that yet. It's going to take a little bit of time, and when he has that fan core base that's going to love him and follow him, it's going to be hard for, I mean, it's like you said, it is a black Hollywood, and yes, we know they're going to do what they got to do, but when you got that big name, and you got them fans following you, it's going to be harder for them to do what they have to do. If right. the fans want to see him in Marvel, right. then he would have been in Marvel. Exactly. He just don't have that yet. He got some good movies, he got some good roles, but he don't have that, like, that Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what Chris did, he still had that fan base. We still going to follow Chris Breezy. He ain't got that yet. So he at the bottom, he coming up to the top. Just for him to be, man, just for him to be a part of this situation with Robert um, Downey Jr. is good for him and his brand. Even though he ain't get what he wanted, it's marketable. It's good for him because he's being mentioned. He just got to keep growing. I think he will be later on down, but he definitely is, you know, whether we want to debate it or not, it just, it didn't hit the same. You know what I mean? If the next person that's going to be Thanos has to be Thanos. That didn't hit. None of us have any type of like, you know, memories like right now out of what you've seen from Jonathan Majors. That's not even black or white. Let's just keep it like, yo, you know what I mean? Like Thanos, you feel me? Not being like, Yo, he's black, so he's getting mistreated. Let's just look at it from a perspective of, yo, do you think this is the next Thanos? That's well, that's twofold. First of all, that's unfair because they don't have any other one that's close to Thanos. No, that's not unfair. It well, it's a twofold because they don't have any other villain. Thanos is is the the joke like that's like Heath Ledger Joker of Batman. It's hard to compare others to that. So that, that's not it's hard. Tons that's, of there's tons of, you know, villains, but I'm asking you, do you think from what you see from Jonathan Majors that he was the guy for the next big villain? He was next up. He he had a run of movies. He he was the next up actor because he had a run of movies that he was in and he was the face until he got in trouble because he was in Marvel movies. He was in Rocky. He was in this. He was in that. He, no, so you're not was, answering my question. I'm, I say, I, I'm saying yes because he was the next actor up. 
until the until the issues of him getting in trouble, he was in hit after hit. It doesn't matter about hit crap. or hit. I'm talking but about that, in that, that role as Thanos, not hit after hit. He could do a yeah, thousand got movies. Do with him playing that yeah, no, yeah, I'm no, saying it, it, as that role. Like yeah, when you see was that role. Listen, when you mm -hmm. see Wolverine, mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman I'm thinking, is yeah, Wolverine. Yeah. You can't just put anybody there. You can't just put anybody there. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. And, you, I, and I'm, but you, again, your name and top tier where I'll, you can't, those are people you can't really touch. And you're comparing this new guy to these colossal people. So you now, just say Wolverine. There's only been one Wolverine. Let me give you a prime example. When Captain America first came on Marvel, mm -hmm. who was he? Nobody. No. Who was the actor? That played Captain America. What what other role did he play? He was in a couple other movies. They didn't do well. He was fucking uh, Fantastic Four. He was uh, what's his name? Yeah, um, that didn't do well. He was in. He was. A he didn't of fit that well. He didn't. It was cool, but it wasn't. And they that... built him up. No, they didn't build up... him up. They got rid of him. Y'all about to say they got rid of him? They bro. got rid of him, and no, he no, got a... Fa Fantastic no. Four got rid of him. You talking no, about? No, listen. Yeah. Yes, okay. and then he got another chance to be someone totally different. Yeah, which was Captain America, and that became and that fitted him. Fitted him. Okay, but that's even the so, point I'm trying to make. Even so, that first Captain America wasn't it. What? It wasn't. It really wasn't. It the, the hype of it. The hype of it was because of Captain America itself. The second third and when they started and, and that's when it like it really took off the first one wasn't like a colossal hit we know that yo what but, are you talking about i'm saying okay because so what i'm what i'm trying to explain is he wasn't bad as kane the conquer and he was being noticed like oh shit kane the conquer ain't being fucked he, he ain't the one to fuck with da 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 and it was building his character the shows we we kind of already know the shows don't do the 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 don't do them really justice because it shows what do you really mean he was in he had a few chances to prove to the world that he was the next big thing he had a few chances they gave him he some was, shots yeah and on, on the show what what i'm trying to tell you is he would have probably stayed in his position and everything would have been fine and he would have went and made those avengers Kane the Conqueror, because that was the name of it. Avengers Kane the Conqueror. and that would have been big as shit. that's Yo, what i'm saying they would have got this listen it probably it, it probably wouldn't have hit I'm not nah, gonna lie to you. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Yo, listen, I'm that. not gonna lie to you because we seen what he been doing so far and we wasn't impressed. Nobody was impressed with Kane the Conqueror. Nobody was impressed with him. Like he didn't make you leave the theaters and say, Hey, I want to be Kane the Conqueror. But no, he wasn't in any that's what I'm saying. He didn't he, really get a chance to showcase a What movie do you mean? He did. What are you talking? Have you watched Marvel movies? What? What movie, what Marvel movie he was in outside the shows? Oh that's what I'm God. saying. Wow, you're definitely not a Marvel guy if you asking me that. Nigga, Ant Man, what, what? Wasp, nigga, like he was the main, the, nigga, he destroyed yeah. niggas. Nigga, like, what are you talking about? But that what he was a a, a villain in it. That that's he not was, what I'm saying. What, he, he what? Yes, I that, he was in the, the new one with the chick or whatever. The the nigga, be. Yo, they the nigga was him. in the yo, the nigga was in Thanos. Or I mean the nigga was in low key a bunch of episodes. Yeah, he, that, that, shit that didn't was his hit. big thing. That shit didn't hit. Pardon nah, my language. The, what, no, that first Loki was fire with Kane. What are you talking about? Yo, bro, that was for, you... that was season one. Okay, he's not a okay. Say less, bro. He was no get... goddamn season one. He five. was because at the end he was what controlling everything. About? It that's, ended that's... when Yo, it ended with him. Yo, season two. Yeah, it, season two is when they show more of him and then they started branching out about the different versions season of him. Two. It ended with him. Yo, they, they yo, built... bro, they didn't find out who. Yo, listen, bro, they didn't find out that he was Kane the Conqueror until. Like the fifth episode in season one. That's when we first got introduced in five. Yeah, they, that it was only one more episode after that. So I don't know what you're talking about now. Yeah, and he was the, two, he was the bad guy that set everything up. Yo, listen, yes, sense. but that was one episode, okay, of okay. season one. So he wasn't in season one. Wasn't surrounded by him. Season two, he became different variants. Yeah. Okay, because you didn't watch it. You you did it. I did because they had different variants of Loki. So oh, don't, so don't then, start that. All right. Don't so then that. if you watched it, then you know what's up, bro. Like but, but that's why it was, that, well, again, it was he against didn't, Loki. Listen, he didn't hit. Those weren't hitting five. You can't yeah. force, when it comes to movies and people liking characters and stuff, you can't keep forcing that shit down people's throat, bro. So you know I mean? As so, much as you. So give me an example of somebody else that was hitting as a villain then. 
outside of him. I just gave you. I just gave you multiple the Thanos. You gave me Thanos, which is I gave the, you the, one of the best yeah. villains Marvel that's had. Very, period. Listen, that's very important. If you're playing, it's like it's like Batman and Rob. I mean, it's like the Joker. You can't just cast any Joker. You have to get the right Joker if he's the main villain. You yeah. cannot just cast uh fucking uh one of uh, whoever such as such as much as i love wesley snipes he no, might not make it right he might That's not crazy. make a good joker as much as i love wesley snipes you know what i mean so you can't force that down people's throat and that's what was going on no matter with, how many good well, how many projects they because in. right they tried to have him as different variants which is kane the conqueror kane the conqueror comes as different variants right so in in the show he was like three four different variants so we got to see the soft side, the hard side, the this side, the da da da, and then we go to the movie with Ant Man and the Wasp, where he's basically trying to destroy or no, he they show him trying to get out of that little time machine. So Ant Man and him is going at it through the whole movie. He has some cool scenes. The ending was kind of shaky, bakey. That lets you know where your your actor is at, where your villain is at. He's he's not. He's not blockbuster, nigga. Like I hate to say it, he's not blockbuster, bro. I, and I disagree with that until he got in trouble because they were setting him up for it, and then he got in trouble. That that's how I look at it. Like I I I get what you're saying. They didn't write him in. You didn't like the series, whatever. His his hit character wasn't hitting, but they were building his character up, and it wasn't for his legal trouble. He would have had that character. He would have been Kane the Conqueror versus Avengers, and that would have did numbers whether we wanted to or not because it's an avengers movie that's what i'm saying like he messed that that chance up and that's crazy because because he again he was a hit actor at the time regardless if you say the shows wasn't hitting he had lovecraft country he had the fucking i don't the, stop i don't care about I'm, none of his other movies well, i am he, a he marvel a actor I am a Marvel, listen, there's a difference, okay? I am a Marvel fanatic. Like, I am the first person in the movies. I get excited to read the blogs. I get excited to watch Marvel. I watch the cartoons. I watch hours and hours of Marvel. I love my villains. You know what I mean? I love my villains. If you're a good, no matter your color, skin, race, whatever, if you're good, you're going to get excited about it. You're going to have people excited about it. People weren't excited about Kane the Conqueror. He was the last one that we could get excited compared to Nobody, Thanos. look, them two up there ain't even thinking about Kane the Conqueror. But they, but they don't really <laughs> watch Marvel like that, so I can't But they really know who that. Thanos is. Yeah, because that was the that was the man. Like Yo, that, that's, they, but like they don't that's the, there's Five, no other villain listen. that you, you know what I mean? You, you have to had? attach your feelings because it only took one movie for them to love Thanos. As to where this man had set, that's what I'm saying, like, you can't just keep trying to push somebody. It's like a wrestler. You might like a wrestler, but if he not hitting, you got to know how to. So I'm not saying that they would have went through with it, but it would not have hit the way uh, maybe a Robert, uh, bringing Doom it, and Robert down. You can't say that be because it was Avengers. You put all the Avengers of him and let him fully, like, fuck them up. It had been a completely different show versus some Ant-Man and a Wasp. Like, like. That show really wasn't predicted to, to be a blockbuster Yo, listen, in itself, though. You got to remember, the minute we seen Thanos, when he came through the time portals, when he had first, first got his first ring, people was excited, like, oh, my God. Yo, that's Thanos. You seen what he just did? Nobody was like that for Kane the Conqueror, bro. Regardless and, of how we I sit mean, here. Yeah, the, yeah, the character base, yeah. The character that's base what I'm saying, that. bro. Nobody, And that's what movies are based on. You can't that's expect... That. A billion dollar company to be like, well, I know they'll catch you on later. Let me just keep pushing something. Now, but can I can't say one thing? What's up? Bloods, uh, low key was was I'm, decent. I'm just Yo, going. Pac, what up, man? Yeah. I'll... Shout out to Pac yeah. on the building. Word. Yeah. Go ahead, Strategic. Um, all I'm going to say is, like I said it before, the people will always control the narrative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If the people wanted him, Marvel would not go against the people because the people is the ones that's paying for it. We will determine who we want on that screen. They're not going to go against the money that we're going to spend. The people didn't speak loud enough for him because it wasn't it wasn't the right fit. That's all I'm going to say. Yo, you know how the you right fit, listen, he would have been there. This is exactly what happened, right? You know how you make a bet at nine o'clock and you lose and then you got a game at like 10, 30, 11 that you could make up with it. And you're like, I'm going to know I'm going to hit on this one. That's what Marvel did. they like, yo, we've been messing up. 
if we could get Robin down, or we got an opportunity to get Robin Downey Jr. back, let's go get him. And everybody got excited. So that tells you where, where, where your fans at, what your fans want. You got to get the people what they want, like Killer saying. You have yeah, to yeah, feed the, your audience, bro. Yeah, but th- that that was kind of a, we are hurting, oh, so we're going to fall on some like, fall back in a sense. He said, yeah, put Marby in general with solely for Marvel to make up for mediocre role. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's what the point I'm trying to make. They've been just throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks. And he was one of the shits at the wall that they threw, and it didn't hit, and they kept pushing it. Kept pushing it. Just happened to be the right Nah, but if they would have released another Avengers movie, that would have been a hit for him, though. It would not have been a hit, bro. It would. I I didn't like, listen, I did not like Kane the Conqueror character like that, bro. Once they start making him into three, four different variants, he's a nerd one time, and he's a smart, you know, this person (laughs) that time, and this, it kind of was like, hold up, I don't know if this is the right thing. That was stretching it for the shit. But see, then that's that's the negative of the TV show because now you got to give these. This, these all to these timelines because writing a TV show is different than a movie. Well, so, yeah, 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 what happened? That's what Kane and Conquer was, though. You know, that he's a different variance, like throughout the yeah, time. Yeah, I get that. So. But but in a movie sense, they could have focused on the one that fucked the Avengers up. You know what I'm saying? And really ran with that because that people would have would have seen that. Like, how are they going to how they going to defeat this? But like you said, to you, you're right where. They had the different ones, they, they were battling each other and going through different times, and this one was trying to kill that one because this one was stronger than that one. I, I get it, in a sense, like, but that's TV show shit. They were trying to set the character up. I just think, personally, if he didn't get in trouble and he would have actually got a chance to go against the Avengers, that would have been a decent movie, regardless of how they built him out and they didn't do it well. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. He said the story was stale and they needed a new focal point marketing wise. And Robert that joint was ass, and I don't like the yeah. curse. Yeah. But that joint was trash, bro. I could I, I don't remember one person coming in my chat or my comments, <laughs> my reactions talking about yo, that Kane the Conqueror, yo, that's crazy. I don't I, I'm I, saying it's slow for a lot of those though. <laughs> no, it's not when it came to like Thanos, the new No, movie. I'm talking about the series. It's talking about the Disney series stuff. No, the, it's all part of it though. Like everything, like yeah. you can't just say yo. It's a no. It's the whole combination of him. This, they based everything around Kane the Conqueror. Yeah, that was a mistake in my opinion. Like that just it didn't hit. It wasn't hitting, bro. It just wasn't, bro. They needed somebody I, badass. Somebody that's gonna come in. What you mean? He's part. You can't keep my. That, that's part of the stories, though. Like I, I listen, they would have had a different villain and just let him go in the Avengers part. And now I think he'd have been a fire. <laughs> I would have loved to see him against Avengers. That would have been fun. <laughs> like to him at full strength, fighting against Avengers. That that listen, I, that's what I want. This is a way better storyline, and everybody's gonna admit to that. This oh, is it, a it way better. This. No, it was not. It was, no, a, I, no, they were not gonna get Robert Downey Jr. to no, turn no, no, no. because I guarantee you, in the we're gonna when they first show him, you still said no. Oh, oh. My bad, hold on. I don't know what Don Don on the delay again. <laughs> Don on delay again. To see Iron Man, <laughs> it's all listen. It's always great when you see a superhero become a villain. That's just yeah, they, the they, end they, they of time. The, 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 yeah, that. But that's also comic too. That's based off the comic too, so which is fire. All right, I know we we've been rambling on. Yeah, two motherfuckers up there have been quiet. I know we got into a little Marvel. I mean, talk. Know what I'm saying y'all niggas, you know this. this, this y'all going at this shit like this shit like Thanos versus what's the name? I, 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 Miles, That's what I'm trying to tell Five. Five. Five is saying what I'm saying now. That's what the conversation was about. He's saying Five is right. Kane wasn't really moved. That's what I. How is Five right when I'm trying to tell him that? He wasn't moving the needle. Yeah, they say, was, I they was hurting was in general. Right, yeah, like, if, I if don't that's understand. the case, yeah, if that's the case, then it's hot. Right, what the... Then you agree with hot. With it. Damn, don't do that, Steve. That shit look... <laughs> Are you... Am I here? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I. it was slow. They they was dropping doozies left and right. Like, when we was hyped to see Loki because of the first season into the second season, and then it was slow. Like, I can't really... Mo- the Moon Knight shit was ass... I watched that. It was cool, but it wasn't a hit. That definitely wasn't a hit. Um, what else they came out with? Uh, <laughs> some other. They came out with a couple of Echo. That was another one that I didn't really fuck with. It. 
Yeah, Echo. And a lot of they those came up with a couple of drinks, and a ass. lot of them joints had Kane at the end of it, building Kane up. His story, but you can't yeah. keep hitting your your flag on a mountain that nobody rocking with. You can't keep investing in. So yeah, that, even that, that'd it, be true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 messed up for Jonathan Majors, but I still think they're gonna use Jonathan Majors in some sort. They are gonna let this calm down. He, he, Jonathan Majors answered the questions incredibly well. Like, you mm-hmm. know, somebody that's media trained and yeah. understand not to blow relationships. Yeah. That's what he did when TMZ asked him. So Disney definitely taking notice to that because they also do want to make sure that they get everybody, you know what I mean, what they want. So when Jonathan Majors was like, man, if, they said, oh, if you ever get the opportunity again to do it, would you do it? He was like, yeah, I'll do it, man. Instead of him saying, yo, nah, they did me wrong, like most people oh, yeah, would yeah, do. Yeah, like that. Very smart man. He's a smart man. That's a very so, smart answer. I, I'm a buy one on this conversation, but I just want to say one last thing. Um, you lost, the juices they dropped and they keep throwing them in there. That hurt. <laughs> the dudes that they drop, they keep throwing them in there, whatever the case may be. Nigga, um, I whooped your ass, nigga. <laughs> nah, because he don't like Kane, so he, he like, fuck that Kane shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, whatever the case Cold, may be. Cold, what um, up? Cold. Oh. It would have been nice. Uh, no, no, I'm going to shut the fuck up. 